Good, Good morning, morning Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Tom Gonzalez. And I'm Tom Nell. Today is Monday, March 21st, 2016, Day A, Rotation 8-9. Here's what you need to know. The library will be open periods 1-7 to today and then closed for meeting after that. There is a very important meeting today for any students taking a hack course next year. A representative will be here to go over registration and placement testing. Please go to the choir room during the last 20 minutes of your lunch. Here's a reminder for staff and students. If you ordered spring flowers from the Varsity Club, the flowers will be available for pickup tomorrow in the cafeteria from 3 to 5 p.m. And Varsity Club members, please report for your assigned time to help distribute the flowers. If you want to order a yearbook, time is running out. The deadline is April 1st, less than two weeks away. Just go to yearbookordercenter.com and type in the school code, which is 4248. Then just follow the directions from there. Wednesday, March 30th, is Grandparents Day. To make room for our visitors, all students who drive to school must park in the stadium. This means you should give yourselves a few extra minutes to walk to school. You are still expected to be in homeroom on time. If you've been one, watching the news, you know that it's been a crazy year for presidential politics. But it's an important one, too. Pennsylvania's primary is April 26th, which is late in the season. But this year, our state may play a big role in deciding the Republican and Democratic nominees. And this year, many of you will be able to vote for the first time. The morning show's Joe Lobeck is here to tell you that how easy the process really is. With the Pennsylvania primary creeping up, Many of us are starting to form opinions on the presidential nominee. The problem is that most of us and other young people aren't registered to vote. The good news is that registration is extremely simple and even better, you can do it all from the comfort of your own home. To get started, go to usa.gov backslash register to vote. You don't need to be 18 just yet, but as long as you will be on election day, you're golden. An important thing to note is that you will need your driver's license number to register, so get your license ready. The nice thing is that registering for a party doesn't restrict you in the general election, but rather it determines which primary you can vote for. So don't sweat if you aren't 100% positive which party you're aligned with. Lastly, consider this. It is not only a fundamental right, but also, also a civic duty to go out and vote. So take the five minutes to get registered to vote. We are still looking for two flower girls for this year's graduation. So seniors, if you have a sister celebrating her first communion this year and would like to be a part of the celebration, please send her name to Mrs. Sharp. Have, have a great, great day, day Crusaders! Crusaders.